Hi, Pastor Howard, and we have a special trip today. We are in the ancient and somewhat mysterious Western tunnels, the Western Wall tunnels that are underneath the Wailing Wall that you often see in the news. And I'm here with my tour guide, Yahuda. Yahuda, where exactly are we? So this is the same Western Wall we can see outside. Tell me, how large is this rock, this stone? This is... So uh, look at me, don't follow me. I wanna show you something. From here and all the way, going 40 feet along the Western Wall, 40 feet, that is longer than a bus, you're looking at the largest stone found in the Temple Mount. It is 12 feet high and 14 feet deep. It weighs close to 600 tons. That's equivalent to like, a, I would say 200 elephants, or if you want it in a modern scale, two airplanes. The big jumbo jets, the transatlantic 747 with the people and the luggage after shopping in Israel. It's huge. That's heavy, yeah. Oh my goodness, how did they get this stone here? I mean, they have had to travel far. And the big question is how? How do they carve a stone like this? How do they roll it here? How do they lift it up and place it so accurately? I believe a good question deserves even a better answer. The answer is we don't know. Physicists, mathematicians, archeologists, engineers, historians today don't know how with the lack of technology they had 2,000 years ago, they were able to move something so big. This is a mystery, an enigma. Well, this is a very impressive stone for God's temple. This Sunday, we will hear about how we are impressive living stones for God's new temple.